Hi all. Today we will try out some of the standard agent actions available in Agent Force. Now you can access Agent Force in Developer Org as well. So I'm going to post a link in the channel description where you can create a Developer Org and start using Agent Force. So this is one of the Developer Org which I created to use Agent Force. And once you create the Developer Org, you can see a screen like how we can build an agent. You can you can start building it, and there is also a link to trail it where you can practice how we can create how we can create an agent. And you can also go to this link and learn more about Agent Force. So for now, we're gonna try out some of the standard agent actions available in Agent Force. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, once you create a developer org, uh, there are some permission set which will be auto assigned to you. So I'm gonna show you that permission set also. So the once you create a developer org, uh, this is the permission set which you required Agent Force default admin, uh, but it will be auto assigned. So now in the quick, quick find, I'm gonna search for agent here. So we can see two options here, agent actions and agents. So if I click on agents, you can see there is one agent default available. So we're gonna use this agent for default today. And we can also create new agent as well. So these are all the agent actions. So now I click on agent action. So these are all the standard agent actions which, which are available. Some are in beta as well. And we can also create our own new custom agent actions which we can invoke in apex class or invocable variable apex invocable apex class or we can also call our flow as well so these are all the standard actions which are available today and we're going to try out some of the standard actions as well so what what i'm going to do is i'll again go back to this home page or maybe i'll go to sales app now so here i'm going to execute I'll, I'll, i'm going to open the agent force and here I'm going to execute my prompts saying that show all opportunities or something like that. So we can also visualize what are the standard actions this prompt, I mean, this, this is executing agent force executing and what are the standard actions which are calling. So we can also visualize in agent builder as well. So we're going to show uh, that as well. Yeah. Now you can see I said, I just said show all, show all opportunities. So it just queried the opportunity record so these are the opportunities available here and I, I can also see the view more button and I, I can also see some recommendations which are coming popping up into my agent force so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on this opportunity record so these recommendations uh, now once I once I clicked on this opportunity I just want to see a summarize summarize of the opportunity of this opportunity what exactly it does so I'll just simply say summarize this opportunity Yeah, uh, this provides a nice summary of the opportunity and what we can do is we can also try out some drafting an email or uh, you want to draft an email for this opportunity you can try out this, uh, that, that prompt as well so there is also a standard actions to draft an email actually yeah this is one of the standard actions which are available and there is also action to summarize the record as well so what I'm gonna do here is I'll say draft an casual email opportunity owner let's say yeah it's just drafting an email for us yeah now you can see this is the uh, this is a subject and this is the, all all the all the merge fields are auto populated here you can simply click on copy draft and also you can see there is an option called as thumbs up or thumbs down uh, so basically you can give a feedback or basically if if, if, the, if the response is not much accurate you can also give a feedback to dislike like these are the options available here so there is a concept called as uh, agent force analytics as well so this is the agent force analytics so basically what it does is uh, uh, is ba basically uh, agent analytics uses data cloud data to help you gain insights into how your agents are performing so there are some couple of reports which are available uh, to analyze how your agent uh, is performing so for example if you see the satisfaction rate and uh, stickiness so you can go through this document uh, to get more details about it and coming back to the screen so here i just saw this uh, 
I just say draft a casual email. So if you want to make it more uh, more casual or more professional, you can change your prompt accordingly. And there is an option called a send email here itself. So if I click on send email, automatically a new pop up got opened here. I can simply uh, select the two address subject, and if I can do any modification and click on send, it will automatically send an email as well. So this is one of the standard actions which is available. And uh, so maybe we're gonna try another another standard object so for example i'm on this agent force and i just want to update this opportunity record so i can do that as well so for example i'll say update name of this to testing so let's see what what exactly it returns Let me do a clear history and try it again. Yeah. yeah, let's click on confirm. So once I click on confirm, so it basically updates the opportunity. So you can see the message. So you can see the opportunity got updated to testing. So similarly, there are a lot of agent actions available, standard agent actions available. You can give a try for it. So these are all the available agent actions. So now we're gonna see what exactly happening on the back end if we enter a prompt. So for that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the agent. So right now I only have one agent force default actually. So we can create a new agent as well. But this is more like an internal employee kind of an agent force. So here I'm gonna click on this agent force. And uh, here I can click on open in builder. So we're going to try the same prompts uh, here as well and see what, what, what which action is getting executed. So before trying, uh, you can see an option called as topics here. So there are two standard topics right now available. One is general CRM and one is for uh, record summary. So for example, record summary, these are all the instructions, standard instructions. And here, these are the topic actions which will be executed based on the instructions provided in the or configured in the topic. And uh, what I'm going to do here is, um, so here I'll say summarize opportunity. So I'll simply say summarize opportunity, but I didn't provide any opportunity ID to summarize. So bas basically you can see what topic it got executed and what, what is the action it got executed in the builder section and what is the agent response which we got. So I'm, I'll, I'll just give, I can give the opportunity ID as well. Let's go back to the same opportunity ID and uh, I'll just uh, enter the ID. So it's more like a conversational base. Yeah, now you can see here is a summary of the requested opportunity. Now what I'm going to do here is I'll say update this opportunity name to agent force. Let's see what it does. Yeah, uh, so it is trying to update the name of the opportunity to agent force. So I'll just simply click on confirm. So you can also see the stand the re some recommendations as well. So now the opportunity name has been updated to agent force. So these are all the actions which got executed. First, it executed extract fields and values from the user input, and then it called the standard action called as update record. Basically, it, it is used to update the records, and the update has been done. So this is the agent response which we got. And there are some other agent actions also you can give it a try. Some are in beta, some are available. I'm gonna cover few of the standard actions in some coming videos as well. And thank you for watching.